<laughs> Hello. Yeah, Owen got kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. I know, I know. Yeah. Go sit over there. Go sit over there. Find something to do. <laughs> well, as you know, our Not Houston right. Texans are on a roll with a five-game winning streak, hoping to keep it going when they hit the field against those Denver Broncos. No Sunday. doubt. It's a road game, but, but they're going to win it. So I know. I'm not even going to need to ask. <laughs> but, hey, they do more than just tackle other big dudes on the field. Uh, tackling some special causes. We're here with Whitney Merciless this morning. Um, you got your big event coming up for the with Mercy Foundation. Yeah. Now, Whitney does yeah. something a little different than, than a lot of players because your focus has always been on children. Yep. But every year you pick a different cause. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Yeah, so with Mercy Foundation, well, the event, first off, the event is going to be November 5th, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be at the Buffalo Bayou, well, at the ballroom at Buffalo Bayou. Right. Uh, so it's going to be awesome. And uh, the with Mercy Foundation, we focus on several different disabilities mm -hmm. each year. So first year was autism. Mm -hmm. Now we're focusing on cerebral palsy in our second year. And uh, we look for usually the um, disabilities that aren't really known and uh, are more of a rarity as far as that goes in the community and uh, that's how we want to really go out there and help out a lot of these families. And the children has really been your passion. Talk to mm -hmm. us a little bit about that and why specifically you chose special needs. Yeah, so it's uh, what I studied in college, uh, community health, disabilities and rehabilitation. Also my family just have a huge track record within the uh, medical field being nursing assistants, my sister being a general practitioner and uh, I just have a love and affinity just to work with children always, especially in the hospital and so that's where uh, this whole with Mercy Foundation came together uh, pretty but pretty much I had an epiphany one night and just said hey man I gotta do something again awesome. get up and do it and form this foundation and you've partnered with some great organizations like Easter Seals faces autism rescue angels yeah and obviously uh, I mean they're so grateful for it. what's the experience been like with these local partners man it's been awesome actually uh, you know just being able to go in there and really see what our dollars are doing with the families within these organizations they have all the resources uh, all the tools needed for families uh, to help their children excel uh, with their disabilities and just going in there and really interacting with the families just uh, having their testimony and say hey your dollars are actually helping me and my child uh, be able to be very functional and you know have a great life as far as that goes and I man I it's been a joy I, I know this one kid named Alex, <laughs> <laughs> <I know Alex. laughs> man he great is awesome character. he is awesome he loves you man yeah he really does. oh yeah yeah, but, I, but I know what you say. You, you, the thank yous are cool, but you just want to help. Yeah. Let's talk about the event that's coming up. So it's Monday, mm -hmm. Dine with Mercy, yep. and you're honoring some important Houstonians as well. Yeah, no doubt. want to honor a few uh, great Houstonians like Andre Johnson, Chester Pitts, Lynn Wyatt, mm -hmm. Lauren Anderson, uh, yeah, who have done great things within this uh, Houston, Houston community. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just want to show them our appreciation for them. All right, well, what a fantastic event. And I'll be there emceeing with you. So Absolutely. Oh, no, no, man. Oh, oh yeah. I, hey, I love it when you emcee, man. It's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill those Broncos on Sunday, oh, please. Of course, of course, right? Keep of that streak going. Oh, no Thank doubt. you for being here. Oh, yeah. We so appreciate it. Always good to see you in the morning. Yeah. All right, well, just a few weeks after <laughs> unveiling new iPhones, <laughs> Apple is set to lift the curtain on other new products today. Oh, boy. I'll see you Monday. <laughs>